The core Sims games and their dozens of expansions and spin-offs have sold an astonishing 100 million copies worldwide. To get some insight on these curious virtual people and their interactive empire, we talked to the head of Sims Studio, Rod Humble. I think that The Sims was um, originally, as with a lot of uh, a lot of games that come from um, Maxis and those group of guys and Worldwide, really had a just a target of maybe someone new will buy it. In fact, one of the most remarkable things about The Sims is its large female audience. Nancy Smith, my boss, likes to call call it a uh, sexually transmitted game. The boyfriend will buy it, and the girlfriend will play it, and then it would get passed around. And I think it spread and spread uh, because of the universal concept. In terms of the split, we're, um, it's about 50-50, a little more women than men. But that just reflects the population. I just think it's just so unusual for a computer game to actually have women show up and, and actually enjoy the game. I think a lot of that is is the universal appeal of the, of the primates. <laughs> Often referred to as a virtual dollhouse, The Sims has proven to be an ideal playground not just for fans of interior design, but fans of a good story. A lot of our players would regard The Sims as a creativity tool, and that's how we look at it as well. And the storytelling mechanism in The Sims is actually quite interesting in that we don't give you a story. What happens is you'll go in and you'll play a regular life, and then the game will push back and throw some little anecdote in there that you didn't expect, like the kitchen catches fire. You meet a beautiful person you didn't know you were going to meet. And then that anecdote gets um, put into the story, and then the player will take that anecdote and move the plot line um, in their own way. With more Sims content in development than ever, including the potentially groundbreaking Sims 3, it looks like the mellifluous sounds of Simlish may continue to ring for another 100 million copies. Oh, the Sibonhoff!